Welcome to Fayetteville, and whoo pig Sue as the Arkansas Razorbacks are ready to take the field. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of my week, the Tennessee Volunteers taking on another SEC rival, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Razorbacks will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. So Tennessee's offense will start this game off. And as we watch this wide receiver come onto the field, when you have a dude like this, you find ways to get him the ball over and over again, no matter what the defense tries to take away. Yeah, because the defense can't win. Whether you double-team them, we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball in quick passes. They're going to throw it deep, and they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. Wants to throw on first down. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. How about the defense getting home? with the pass rush. Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the... Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Out of the gun to give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Pressure coming. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. And the balls will send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. So Arkansas's offense has the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Second down. He'll keep it himself. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? Looking downfield, it's Green. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd. Don't let him get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. The Razorbacks Number line up 12. to punt it away. Oh, He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Gets the first one of the day out of there, and we saw a lot of him in that loss the last week, four times to be exact. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Coming out on first down with the play fade. And the quarterback is snowed under. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong that they can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that. play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. This offense really needs to get something going. Hunt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. 
trying to get to him. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to him. The Volunteers will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Quarterback on the keeper. They're not getting him on the ground, still on his feet. They make the stop, and this running game moves to change as they get the first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. And the Razorbacks are moving quickly down the field. They'll run it from the gun. Crosses the 30, he's got a late. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Razorbacks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. On the ground, it's Jackson. There to stop him after a pickup of one to the 22. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And there is a degree of difficulty with this one. A 47-yarder from the right hatch. He's got it! Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. TCU is currently trailing, but if this young star needs to come back today, he could join former Heisman winner Davey O'Brien among the legends to wear that uniform. They're trailing by 10 to Houston. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. He'll do it himself. Got the first down and more. Ball is free. Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. And the Volunteers moving quickly to the line. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's going to fire deep. All kinds of running room. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Volunteers! Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. What a display of explosive capabilities on that drive. 75 yards, two plays, and a touchdown. 
And he takes this from inside the five. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Hand off from the gun. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The back goes in motion. They'll run the option. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. Back to throw. It's green. Might be looking to run. Still on his feet at the 45. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. They'll go to the counter play. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Finds just enough room to pick up a couple down to the 26. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Now adjusting. He'll try to do it himself. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Right down the boulevard, it's good. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounce, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this. Their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Tackled after picking up the first down. The Vols want to move quickly. Off the play fake on first down to throw. They're bringing heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack at second and 12. Looking for a man. It's Iamaleava. Getting some heat. It's complete to the left. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. As a coach, that is exactly what you want. You want complimentary football. The offense has been doing their thing. This defense now stepping up, maybe trying to get the football back to their offense again. And 
the balls will call on their punt team. Looking for a block. It's a Tegna. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. They've had a couple of productive drives, but they've had to settle for field goals in two of their three previous possessions, Jesse. Yeah, this is an offense that takes a lot of pride in execution, and they feel like they should have scored a touchdown every single drive. So while it's been good, not great, David, just execute a little bit better, and they can put this one in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think you point that out. We went all the way down the field on two of our first three drives and got field goals. Now, just a little better execution when, you, when that field starts to shrink and it gets a little bit more difficult. The gift to the tailback. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Running to the left. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Here on third down for this offense. Looking to throw, it's Green. He's going to run it. Showing off the arm. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. On the ground, it's Jackson. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. He'll try it again. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. Safe completion on the screen. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And they'll run the field goal unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. It is perfect. And with that, they've taken the lead. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try to field goal team out there. And this field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. That last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Give to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The volunteers headed quickly to the line. He wants to pass it on second down. Caught behind the line. It's Selden. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. He'll keep it himself. At the 45 on its way. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. And the Volunteers have it with a first and ten. And when you've got that kind of speed, football's got to be a lot of fun. I mean, Jesse, it's not there. Just pull it down. Go make a play. That's definitely something that defense has never had to worry about in my day. Either. I think I just pulled a hamstring watching that guy go. <laughs> He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. If your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response, just a sack hard. They think there's room to run to the right here. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Vols decide to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep.
And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. First down for this offense. Looking to pass, it's green. The quarterback's a little more on target there. Maybe they hook up, but it's an incompletion. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Wide open downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. New set of downs after that completion. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He'll just keep slinging it. Moves around to clear up the vision. Still on his feet at the 45. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? Now they'll try to cash in this drive. First and 10 from the 50. Looking to move it through the air. It's caught downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He wants to throw here on second down. Fires to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Arkansas. I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed. Make you cover the whole. Nice job by the offense. Go with the little spread look. Taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and they have a nine-point lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Looking to throw, it's Iamaleava. Looking down the middle. A strike downfield. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Fires to the middle. It's in. Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On second down, wants to throw it. He'll take a shot. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Going back to the well, another deep ball. It's incomplete, and they tried to get one on the board before the break and couldn't quite make the connection. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Fayetteville. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Razorback Stadium. And the balls will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Satagna. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. 
They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. 100%. Just you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. They go to the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Razorbacks will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. They'll toss it to the left. Can't get him to the ground. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. The Volunteers are in the hurry up. And off from the shotgun. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. No huddle offense to the line. Looking downfield, it's Ian Maleava. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They'll run play action. Unleashes to the end zone. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. Not only a great play, but tremendous discipline by this sophomore to make the pick. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down. They can be in position. But they don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turnover. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. They can't corral the pitch. The ball's on the ground. And the ball will bounce out of bounds on the fumble. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Starting to feel a little pressure. And the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. The Razorbacks send out the punt unit. Running it back, it's Matthews. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Got three on first down at second and seven. The play-action fake. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Pocket starts to collapse. He'll pull it down and run. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. And the Volunteers will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. 
Out of the gun, the running back has it. And the Razorbacks get it past the sticks. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. From the shotgun, the inside give. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on this. You might want to get a little bit more aggressive. A third down try for the offense. They'll try to run for it. Fights his way for a couple, but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. The Razorbacks will punt this one away. He'll try to really get into this one. And he will boom that punt out of bounds. No chance for a return. Let's see where the officials spot it. He'll start this drive firing. Time to take a shot. He's got it down the left side. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They'll keep it on the ground. Tackle is made at the 33. It's about a five-yard pickup, and that'll be enough for a first down. The Vols come to the line with a new set of downs. Back to throw. It's Iamaleava. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. From the gun, give on the inside. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Feeling some heat. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. And the Vols will punt it away on fourth down. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Gonna run it. It's Jackson. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the running back has it. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Grab behind the line. It's Armstrong. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Razorbacks will send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Looks it all the way in and now turns his attention upfield. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. From the gun, running back gets the gift. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. That's the end of the quarter, and Arkansas has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Quarterback on the keeper. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on 
third down. Running for it on fourth down. At the 40, there he goes. Hit the gas can wide open ahead. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Tennessee. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. West Virginia looked like a program ready to take the next step after a big world win today. This was a complete team effort from the Mountaineers. Offense, defense, and special teams doing its part. Heck of a show. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. He'll do it himself. Picks up the first down, still moving. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They'll go to the counter. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Now on second down, they want to keep moving forward and keep that clock churning. Looking for room, it's Jackson. Just finds that little crevice, and he's still up. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Grab behind the line, it's Jackson. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. This drive has already drained more than three minutes off the clock, and now they've got it on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Armstrong. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. The Razorbacks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Dropping back, it's Green. Looking for the score! He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Razorbacks! And it's so underrated, the, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdown, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing it because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in game. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Complete to start this drive. This is the moment for this offense to put the drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. The Volunteers pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Here's the handoff. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. 
And the Volunteers come to the line in the hurry up. They'll try to get outside. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. The Vols are on the move. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. A nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Looking for the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. A shot toward the end zone. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football, and the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll give it to the back. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. Dances away from the heat. Trying to escape and get it himself. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Arkansas! Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. That's a nice job by this offense. Nice job putting the drive together late. This might seal this football game. And nice response. It's nice to be home, isn't it? Come back to the home crowd after you've lost a couple games. Get some mojo going back in your way. My philosophy on going for two is only when you have to. They'll try to run it in. He's knocked down in the backfield, a swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Let's see what he can do with the return. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Back to pass, it's Iamaleava. Unloads it downfield. Wide open, he makes the catch. Afterburner's coming. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, ball! And how about the bomb? The long field all the way across the field. Big time play, big time throw. Receiver runs underneath it, takes it to the house. Huge play for this offense. And with the lead sitting at nine, they'll try to make it a one possession game. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 29, Tennessee, 21. On the move from inside is five. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. 
Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Pressure coming. He's going to take off. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. To the ground with the back. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. To the ground, he's got it again. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Ordinarily on second and 10, you might look past, but here you just want to keep that clock moving. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Razorbacks line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. And they'll just down it right there. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. And they're going to have to fight this defense, and they're also up against it with time, Jesse. Yeah, no doubt. That internal clock just didn't move fast enough, and they get him for a safety. And you practice the two-minute drill all week long, and you dream about making those big plays, and how about this defense coming up big? Shutting down this offense. The offense has a chance to go make this a game. Maybe go win the football game. And the defense does their job, does their part. Makes the big safety. And now receiving the football and putting one nail in the coffin. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. And with the game all but decided, this quarterback will take a knee. The rankings, the odds makers, everything indicated that these guys had a big hill to climb. But they climbed it, they got to the top, and they get a landmark win. And we know coaching staffs always do a great job trying to motivate their own guys and get them ready to play a ranked opponent. But David, to me, it looked like this team just wanted it more. They came out, they were the more physical team, and they did what they had to do at the end of the day to get this win. Yeah, and how do you gain respect? You want respect, you talk about our team's a really good team, you want to build on that? You beat good teams, that's what you do. You beat ranked teams that people think a lot of. This team pulls off the ranked upset, and guess what? Now what happens? You start to maybe find your team in the ranked spot. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.